Now we'll look at question number eight. We'll solve it using the variable approach method, and this is a typical two by two question. Here's the original condition here. And with two by two, we have defective and broken window, slightly dented. We represent the two by two using the following table. Okay, now with this, we fill it in using the original conditions. Here's defective, not defective, and then we have broken window, and then slightly dented. Now, if we'll call 100C for the total, then we have 5C for defective and 95C for non-defective, which means that we have 5C times 4 over 5 for broken window, 5C times 1 over 5 for slightly dented. If all of the cars that were broken or slightly dented had defectives, it means that over here on the right side we have zeros. We have one variable, C. This means that we only need one more equation. And now conditions 1 and 2 are each going to give us an equation, making it likely that D is going to be our answer. And actually, the D is the answer, so we'll look at conditions 1 and 2 separately. Here what we have is 5C times 4 over 5, and the 5s disappear is equal to 4C is equal to 400, so C is equal to 100. It's sufficient. What about condition 2? 5C is equal to 500, so again, C is equal to 100 and it's sufficient. That's why D is going to be the answer. Remember, variable approach is the most recognized and efficient way of solving GMAT math problems.